Well, on this Independence Day, the Bourne Braves fall to the Wareham Gateman for the second time that they faced them this season at Doran Park. But we have the all-star pitcher with us, Kyle Marmon, who threw four scoreless innings. Kyle, when you went out on the mound, what was first going through your head? You already knew that the Gateman were up on you by a couple runs. What was your mentality to really shut them down? Uh, you know, you just want to come in there and pump strikes. You know, I wanted to hold the game where it was, give ourselves a chance, and that's pretty much it. Kyle, last time out against Hyannis, you struggled a little bit. You haven't gotten more than one inning in any appearance with the exception of Hyannis, but tonight you really felt comfortable, at least looked comfortable going multiple innings. What was the key for that tonight? Um, I don't know, really. Adrenaline was pumping, 4th of July. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it was just, fireworks? Yeah, fireworks yeah. were out there. I mean, That's fair. I just felt good. So. <laughs> What's been the biggest adjustment coming up to the Cape after your year at FAU? Um, honestly, it's been the weather, you know, it's hot down, <laughs> it's hot down in Florida, and it's a little cooler up here. You know, Cape's a great experience, you know, it's awesome. Well, we decided to do a lot of 4th of July theme type stuff on our broadcast here um, before the game, and then also here you see that we're wearing the flag on our shirts here. So we want to ask you a couple uh, America questions, if you're okay yeah. with that. Yeah. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> All right. You have a choice to ride a bald eagle or a grizzly bear into battle, which do you choose? I'm going to take the bald eagle. Okay. That's what Zach Susie said, too. Any reason why? Oh, oh that big bug. <laughs> you know, I summoned I, them. Yeah. I mean, I just feel like an aerial attack. It's a nice route to go there. There you go. That's fair. All right. Well, I'll throw this one at you. This is one of my favorites. If you could be any founding father, who would it be? Can you think of a founding father, first yeah, of all? That's go, the most important. I would go with Thomas Jefferson. That's a good okay. one. That's yeah. the first time we heard that one tonight. And then let's go most underrated American tradition. Oh, good one. Ooh. Underrated. So, for example, mine was drinking milk after eating a bowl of cereal. <laughs> the hot dog contest is great, but that's I wouldn't say that's underrated. Yeah. It's underappreciated. It's I feel answer. like it's underappreciated. Yeah. Joey Chestnut is an underappreciated athlete, I, in my eyes. Is he your favorite athlete? <laughs> I wouldn't say favorite. <laughs> well, well, awesome. Hey, thanks, Kyle, for coming on the show today. Uh, thanks Good job out there. Me. Thank you. Well, boys, it's the 4th of July, so what better way to celebrate than wearing the American flag on, your, on our T-shirts today? No I mean, we all were in the parade and sandwich today. That was a really good time, throwing beads and throwing candy oh, yeah. and just seeing all the cool automobiles that were out there. It's a fun experience to be here on the 4th of July. And what better place to do it than Cape Cod, Massachusetts? And, and what better play, way to celebrate the 4th than go to a baseball game? Unfortunately, the Bra Born Braves didn't come out and perform as well as uh, they have in the past games. But... No matter what, baseball is baseball. What happened with the offense? Well, offensively tonight, the Braves struggled really just to string hits together. We've seen this a couple times with Bourne this season where they've been able to get hits going as far as the hit column on the scoreboard. They'll get, you know, eight, nine, ten hits, but only push across a couple of runs. Well, tonight, no one hit double hits. That's No one had multiple <laughs> hits. That's the word I'm looking for. Nobody had multiple hits tonight. And the six of the last eight Braves hitters struck out. And so, I mean, when you do that, you're not really giving yourself much of a chance. Braves struggle late in the game to put the ball in play and really give themselves a chance, try to force an error, try to get something going with a bunt. They weren't able to do that tonight, so that's why you only score two. Now for the pitching category, Kyle Marmon came into the game. We had him on earlier on Tomahawk Talk, and he pitched a good outing, four scoreless innings, and you don't really see that too often. And he had a good performance out there. What did you like from him, and what was really working in terms of his pitching arsenal? Well, I thought Marmon was aggressive in the zone, throwing strikes, and he looked a lot more confident and comfortable tonight than he had earlier in the season. And coming into the game, after the game last night in Falmouth, you knew Linsman wouldn't pitch today, you knew Feltner wouldn't pitch today. So some reliever was going to have to give the Braves length and that ended up being Kyle Marmon and to go for scoreless I don't think Harvey Shapiro could have asked for anything more. Well guys since it's the 4th of July I thought we could do a couple of American questions like we did yes. earlier with a couple of our um, <laughs> interviewers and stuff like that so Kyle I'll start with you what is one thing that people don't really think of when they think of America? Usually when people think of America, they think of like the red, white, and blue, cheeseburgers, uh, going to baseball games. What's one thing that's kind of underrated or what people don't really think about when you just say the word United States of America? Wow, that's a deep that's a philosophical question. question. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I was prepared to answer that. I mean, I, I think there's something to be said for just the patriotism in general. Mm -hmm. And I think the Cape is a great place to showcase that because it's truly a unique thing and Obviously, the sense of patriotism out here 
with a baseball game during a parade. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. And it's, it's really fun for me to come to the East Coast because I think the East Coast has so much patriotism. The flag's everywhere. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. We West Coast guys really need to step it up. <laughs> I, I just love being out here. And like I said, going to the parade today was a lot of fun. So I think just the overall patriotism, the love of country is something that's really special. And although it's cliche, I think it's really something that you don't understand until you're actually within it. That's a solid answer. What about you? Wow, I didn't know I was going to get asked the same question. <laughs> I thought you were going to get these. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I think maybe people in other countries only think America has hamburgers and hot dogs. And that's true. We have a lot more food than that. That's fair. And it's really good <laughs> that's here. That's a deep answer. So, uh, yeah, deep. I'll go with uh, varieties of food. <laughs> I might have to go with Kyle Marmon's answer with the hot dog eating contest. I mean, oh, yeah. we saw Joey Ch uh, stuff down 72, 72 hot dogs Something today. Like that, yeah. It was amazing. He's an athlete in general. But another <laughs> big question, and we did this on the Facebook Live, but for those viewers who didn't see the Facebook Live, who was on your Mount Rushmore? My Mount Rushmore? Okay, mm -hmm. let's see if I can remember here. I know Tom Petty was on there. I know Todd Helton was on there. Morgan Freeman and Robin Williams. I like that. Wow. <laughs> okay. I know I had Derek Jeter. Yep. And I know I had Jackie Robinson. And past that, I don't. Do you remember who I had? I'm trying to think. Yeah, right I now. can't remember. Yeah, that's not good. If you can't you know, think of your four Mount Rushmore. <laughs> I'll think of a couple more here for you. I was, okay. I'll say Abraham Lincoln. There you go. go. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I will go with hmm, America. Who do I think of? Uncle Sam. There you go. Oh, that's, that's a actually solid answer. Not a bad answer, yeah. yeah Uncle Sam. Good one. That's a solid answer. Well, I would have to go with Kenny Chesney yeah, yeah. because I love his music. I know. Lou Gehrig because he's an inspiration to me. I mean, the guy is the luckiest man on earth. I feel like the luckiest man on earth being at a baseball game in Cape Cod. And then my father and my grandfather just because. That's a great. Yeah, you have big inspirations. Answers. I have the deep. Yeah. Yeah. I have the deep stuff. Yeah. But thanks, guys, for tuning in to Tomahawk <laughs> Talk today. Hope you guys have a great Independence Day. And for all those men and women who are serving overseas, thank you for your service. God bless the United States of America and have a happy Independence Day.